Yes, yes, my people. Big program back again, and you already know what it is now. We're talking sneakers kicks and crap once again man we've got a nice little review for you man and we're not holding back man we've got a double review yes a double review we're looking at the space hippie nikes space hippie 01 in the melon tint colorway and the obsidian colorway yet yeah, we're going to talk about how we cut we're going to talk about the press we're going to talk about how they look on feet and if that sounds like something you like, like the video, comment, subscribe, share, do all of that great stuff. And without any further ado, let's have a quick look at the box. So just having a quick look at the box and you can see here, very minimalistic on the box, nothing really going on outside on the box. Obviously the idea is zero waste. And I suppose that translates to ink as well. So yeah, limiting the amount that we're using, but maybe not so much on the inside. We're talking about the space hippie, so quite a lot going on in there. Um, you can see here it says a move to zero waste. The space hippie is Nike's foray, Nike's entry point, Nike's focus point into a zero waste shoe and zero waste production line, which is understandable considering sustainability is a major talking point in sneakers and in general. So now we've seen what the box looks like and we've had a quick look at the shoe. Let's find out how these bad boys look on feet. So I managed to cop these on the 23rd of April, 2021. I caught them direct from Goodhood. Shout out Goodhood. I am shouting out Goodhood, even though there was a massive delay before they were delivered. These shoes are actually 115 pounds at retail. No real secondary market on these. There's quite a lot of them still available. Sizing, I'd suggest you go true to size on these keep it really really simple i got mine uh, in my size and they fit perfectly so guys let's talk about the comfort now comfort on these shoes obviously you're thinking to yourself it's a zero it's, a, it's, it's an attempt at a zero waste shoe the upper is made of of, of, of recycled polyester the 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 the, the sole is made of of, of, of of Zumex, which is bits and pieces of other soles put together. So you're thinking to yourself, is it really gonna translate to a really good shoe, a really good feel underfoot? Is it gonna give you that comfort? Is it gonna feel nice to touch? And I have to tell you, it is a pleasant shoe to wear, very pleasant shoe to wear. Um, real, real nice sock-like feel and a very nice touch. It's not rough or, or 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 doesn't feel sort of degraded in any way shape or form feels like a like a like a like a serious material um a little bit of stretch in there as well um underfoot you've got the zoom x technology um which is what they're using a lot of their running shoes nowadays um which is pretty cool as well so you get a decent amount of bounce as well so overall pretty comfortable on foot and under feet so decent shoe so let's talk about the look and the design of the shoe and let's start with the melon tint now obviously the silhouette of the shoe is really really simple sort of a, a real sock like upper this is made of um a recycled polyester 85 percent recycled polyester it's got everything in there it's so, such a long list but you've got recycled bottles and recycled plastic and different 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 things in there and it's kind of amazing how they managed to turn it into this sort of i think they refer to it as space yarn um is what they used on this upper. It's got a nice little bit of stretch in there and I like the gray um, on this with the with the, the various different hits of color. You've got this sort of um, uh, 
pink uh, pink check um, an orange tint on the laces you've got this sort of interesting um, double lacing system which is which is pretty cool um, but yeah a very breathable very light material the shoe itself is super super light um, nice little bit of detail here with the tab it basically just says Nike in various different ways here and at the back tab is there it's got sort of Nike's um, sustainability uh, logo at the back there now we're talking about the midsole uh, and the outsole essentially the same thing um, with the zoom x technology quite a lot of bounce great color you can see it's sort of speckled because it is recycled material so it's got that sort of speckled vibe which is pretty cool and very synonymous with the space uh, uh space hippie uh movement the space hippie vibe the space hippie line at this point um really really liking this obviously when you talk about melon this is more like a cantaloupe i'm more of a watermelon guy so i like a bit more of the red but it is a pretty cool shoe and let's wing our way over to the obsidian Look, we've talked about all the various different materials but it's nice to see it in a different contrast i like the navy blue big big fan of the navy blue with the with the green hits i think yeah the green hit on the inside of the shoe here and the uh, green swoosh with the green back tab once again with the sustainability logo there i'm really really feeling green and blue that works for me um yeah really really light once again the um, the outsole they've gone for a sort of an off-white cell kind of midsole um, outsole sort of thing um, which is fine absolutely fine kind of blends in uh, with this material that is actually there's no insole on the shoe so that that is the exposed insole of the shoe which is pretty cool um, you'd have to tell me in the comments below what you guys are feeling are you feeling the melon tint or are you feeling the obsidian i feel like these are really really cool shoes and i'm gonna get into my thoughts final thoughts overall thoughts right now you already know when companies like nike and adidas try and make statements about sustainability and waste and all these different things and start changing things and start doing all these bits and pieces you start thinking to yourself you know what, with all of these things that are being said and all of these initiatives is somebody really thinking about the shoe? Are they really thinking about the comfort? Are they thinking about the vibe? Are they thinking about the aesthetics? Are they thinking about the shoe? Because ultimately, that's what we care about. We do want to not kill the planet. We don't want to kill the planet, but we also want to look fly. It is true, I'm sorry. And the two do not have to be mutually exclusive. So, do we think they achieved this? I think they've come pretty close. This is a very cool looking shoe. This may not be the hyper shoe. It may not be the one that you're gonna draw for. It's not a super expensive shoe at 115 pounds, number one. Number two, it's actually doing something more than just cover your feet. It's actually helping the um, the environment and, 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 and the planet, so to speak. And number three, it does, have a pretty cool especially with these a really cool summer vibe and these are really sort of cool um spring autumn winter vibe you know what i'm saying like you can really do what you want to do and from above when i was wearing them i got a lot of the roche i remember the roche runs like i got that kind of vibe from the shoe as well like so it is a shoe that i actually enjoy i don't think the shoe was the last thing they thought of when they were thinking about sort of the the whole sustainability angle. I think they actually took some time and they actually designed a shoe that people like and actually is comfortable, which is important. So ultimately, I think they've done really, really well. Now for me, if I'm coming down to which one I really like the most, whether it be the melon tint or the obsidian, I am always gonna veer towards the darker colors. I really like how the green pops off the navy blue on this shoe. This is a really cool summer vibe. I can imagine going to Lanzarote or going to anywhere they'll allow me with this whole COVID restrictions and um, where there's a little bit of sun. I can imagine these walking uh, up and down the, the, the beach in these or whatever, but these, I could rock these down the local Asda. I can rock these anywhere. So yeah, I'm definitely feeling these is your really, really cool shoes. One. Guys, now I've told you what I think, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like the video, please like the video, comment, subscribe, share. Share with your friends, anyone that you know that likes kicks, likes sustainability, likes big black guys chatting about kicks, send it their way, they'll, they'll, they'll love you forever. Make sure to turn on that notification bell anytime we're dropping some hot fire, you can be notified. And if you really like chatting about kicks or hearing people chat about kicks, make sure to check out my podcast, 
Kix Chronicles, which is available on YouTube, where we take a deep dive into a guest sneaker history, go all the way back to what drew them to the game to currently what's on feet. That is available once again on YouTube, but also in your ears on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts. Once again, my name is Prozac on Instagram and Twitter. Feel free to holler at me, follow me, do all of that great stuff. I post semi-regularly so, so encourage me and yeah you guys have been absolutely amazing thank you so much for your support uh we're gonna keep it coming we're gonna keep it strong and until the next time i come across your path people remain blessed seize ya.